Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the first episode of the Barcelona B Road to Glory career mode series. I haven't done a Road to Glory series at all this FIFA, so I'm so excited to get this series underway. And if you guys are as well, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's smash out 500 likes, that'd be just insane. And if you are new around here, you know what to do. Make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content. Barcelona B got themselves relegated last season, which means they won't be in FIFA 19. So it just kind of feels like the perfect opportunity for me to take charge of Barca B and rebuild La Masia. And that's exactly what the goal of this series is going to be. We've got to rebuild Barcelona B, bringing in more talent from the youth academy and also from other clubs. And eventually winning trophies, maybe the league, maybe even the Champions League, who knows? It's going to be a really difficult journey improving this squad, but... I feel it's going to be a lot of fun. I expect this series to last maybe three, four, maybe even five seasons, depending on your support, but I'm really excited for this. Also, I feel like this series is definitely going to be the most challenging I've ever done on this channel because I've gone ahead and put Barcelona B in the Premier League, which makes it 10 times more interesting because... We do not really have the toughest of squads, so I've got to be on the top of my game every single game on legendary difficulty with a squad that's not really that good. Competing against the likes of Man United, Man City, it's just going to be so exciting and of course the goals have been adjusted for us. I mean, first season our goals are to avoid relegation if I'm not wrong in the FA Cup finish in the round of 32, so the objectives aren't really that harsh. So I think we should be able to survive, but again, avoiding relegation is going to be a tremendous challenge. One reason I've done this is to bring more excitement to this series, and I think this way, every episode is going to be a lot of fun. I mean, with this Barca B side, imagine coming up against Pep City. That's just going to be immense. Now, even the transfer budget, we don't really have an insane amount of money. We've got about 4.5 million, out of which at least half I want to invest in the youth academy, which means we'll have about like 2.5 million to spend on signings, which really isn't a lot of money. Maybe through swap deals and all that, we could get in more players. And if you guys have any suggestions, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Keep in mind to suggest young players who are not that high rated so we can afford those players. Also, press conferences make their return to the Barcelona B series. So if you guys have any questions regarding rumors, transfer rumors or anything about the series make sure to let me know down in the comment section with the hashtag pcq and i'll try and answer as many questions as possible in the next episode as always the first thing we do in any career mode is have a look at the squad we already have at our disposal now probably one of the main men of this squad is jose arnaiz extremely talented winger four star skill moves four star weak foot he just seems like a player that's going to score a lot of goals for us. He's also made his debut for Barcelona and he's also scored for Barcelona, which does mean he's a very talented player. Alenia in midfield again, another one of those extremely talented youngsters. And there are rumours that he might actually get promoted to the first team in real life next season. So we know he's a top talent and is going to be one of the poster boys of this series. Abel Ruiz, again, very talented as well. Um, this Labour guy, I'm not too sure of. I think he's on loan at Barca B, so not really convinced. Vitinho is great. Cam, 70 rated, not bad. This Rivera guy has got very high potential, so again, a really good player to have. Cucurella, we all know about Mark Cucurella. Again, an insanely talented left back. Defense is a bit lacking, I feel. Palencia, great captain to have. Good potential as well. Ortola, again, a loney, but still a decent player. So the team is not that bad, but of course, not Premier League level. We, we're going to have to definitely improve this side. Miranda, again, is a great left back to have. Oriol Busquets, the next Sergio Busquets, as many say. Good option to have as well. Cardona is a good backup striker or even a first team striker. Overall, I think this team is good. And also another mention for this guy, Ricky Puig, I think his name is. Messi apparently has a good relationship with this guy, which definitely means he's got some talent. So we've got some good players. Definitely looking to improve a few positions. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. I'm probably going to look to send a few players as well to try and bring in more players. But I'm definitely looking to bring in a centre-back because I'm not too convinced with Cuenca or even Costa. So that is a position I'm definitely looking to improve. And maybe another midfielder because we need to have more midfield options. As I said before, the Youth Academy is probably going to be the most important part of this series because it gets us players for cheap and also extremely talented ones. So let's hire a scout. Let's do this at the beginning of the series itself. And I think this scout, Nilo, for 2.8 million euros seems like a very, very good deal. So we're going to do exactly that. And there you go, we've already spent like 2.8 million. Let's check how much we have left now. 
just about 1.7 let's adjust our budget a bit which will give us about like let's say 3 million to spend but it's not really that much but hopefully the youth academy can bring us some extremely talented youngsters first uh, youth academy task we'll give this guy is to we'll send him to spain let's just send him to spain for three months and see what kind of players he can bring us hopefully some talented wingers or maybe midfielders because that will definitely help us Training is obviously going to be another important part of this series because it'll help us get our players to higher overalls. Cucurella, Alenia, Busquets, Arnais and Abel Ruiz are some of the players I'm going to be training for now. Let's simulate the training and let's hope in a month or a, mo a couple of months we can expect some amazing results. But well, first training session didn't really go that well, but not bad. A B for Abel Ruiz, not really that bad. Regarding transfers, I have a couple of players in mind, but none of them are known players. They're pretty much extremely talented youngsters. One of them is Kik Pieri, who I've checked has 85 potential and for a centre-back, that is perfect, so getting him could be priority for us. Palacios has got like 82 potential, but he's a really dynamic midfielder, box-to-box-esque midfielder, can play on the right as well, gives us more options, and maybe a great option coming off the bench. He plays at River Plate, which is a big Argentine club, so we know he's talented. So these two players, I think I definitely want to try and bring in. Hopefully we'll have enough funds for that, but right now we've got to wait like a week before we can scout them. In the meantime, you guys can let me know what kind of plays you guys wanted me to sign in this series. So go down there in the comment section and let me know. I am going to be simulating all the preseason games because I just want to get to the Premier League as soon as possible. And really, the preseason isn't all that fun. But anyways, first game of the preseason, one all so far. Let's sim the entire game. All right, it's a one all draw. To be fair, the preseason might be a good way to get some additional cash. Wow, that is an insane offer for Carlos Elenia. 11.1 million? But unfortunately, I am not looking to sell him because I feel like he's one of the most important players of this team. He's got like an 87 potential. Doesn't make sense selling him. Cardona as well. Uh, this is one I'm, I'm confused of. You know what? I'm not going to sell him. I want to keep him. I like Mark Cardona. He's only 21. And alongside Abel Ruiz, we could have a good backup option as well. So for now, I'm going to keep Mark Card Cardona. We've actually beaten Malmo, which is very impressive. Abel Ruiz scoring a brace, which means we will be progressing, I guess, to the next round of the European International Cup. Additional money, I'm all down for that. This is our third preseason game. Let's try and get a win. There you go. Cost us with the goal and a 3 0 win. Preseason is really going well for us. Even our nice has scored. There you go. We've got an additional 700,000 euros in our funds, which is obviously fantastic. And also, we've got ourselves an offer for Jose Martinez, a player I'm actually looking to sell because he's on high wages. And also, we've already got ourselves four centre-backs. We're not playing Champions League or even Europa League football, so it makes sense selling Jose Martinez. But I'm going to negotiate to try and get as much money as possible from Millwall. So let's try and do exactly that. He's valued at about 900. So let's just counter 900 and just see what they say. Um... We don't want this negotiation to fall through. There you go, 900,000 for Jose Martinez. Not bad at all. Additional money for more transfers. All right, guys, we've received the scout report for Kik Pieri, which is nice to see, 68 rated. Let's try and sign him first. Look at that weekly wage. That is something I really like, which means we can get him for pretty cheap. Let's approach the buy. Um, 1.6 million is his value. Let's see if we can get him for something cheaper. I'm going to be offering what his value is. 1.6 million for Kik Pieri. Let's see what his manager comes and says. They bought 1.65. Not bad. I'm going to accept that. The sell-on clause, I don't really care. It's just 1%. Not bad at all. 1.65 for a talented youngster like him. Kik Pierre. I'm pretty happy about that. Contract length, 3 years. For some reason, he wasn't accepting a 5-year contract. I'm going to disregard the release loss. He doesn't want one as well. The wages aren't that bad. I'm going to remove the appearance bonus and just accept it. 2,400 euros. That's what we are paying for a talented centre-back like him. That is an absolute bargain. Wow, man. I wasn't expecting that. He wants 2,800 pounds, uh, euros, whatever the currency is. I don't mind that at all, man. What a signing this is. An absolute bargain. 
This is the kind of signing I think like four or five seasons down the road when we look back we're gonna think how do we manage to pull this off I mean look at his stats he's already really quick which means if we train his defensive stats he's gonna be so OP in that centre back role so really happy with that signing we still have about 1.9 million and we haven't even received the money from transfer so Let's try and get this Ezekiel Palacios deal done from River Plate, a very talented youngster, let's hope we can sign him. Just like the previous transfer, I'm gonna offer 1.6 million for even Palacios, let's see what they counter, they won 1.7, you know what, I'm not complaining, we have that much funds, let's get this deal done. 1.7 million for Palacios, not bad at all, we're making some really good bargain deals. So far the contract business is going pretty well, we've of course offered him an important squad role, 5 years, no release clause and now for the wages I'm offering him 8000 euros and a signing bonus of about 40,000 euros, that's not bad I guess, let's see what he says. There you go, perfect transfer and we've secured our second signing of this series. I'm not going to be making any more signings, we're going to get some more funds, I'm going to read your comments and then decide what kind of players to bring in because I want you guys to be as involved in this series as possible. Simulating this semi-final of the preseason tournament against Bronby, let's see if we can win. If we win this game, I'm going to definitely play the final to get the extra funds and also win our first trophy with Barca B, even though it is a preseason trophy. 1-0 so far, there you go. We we get ourselves a 2-1 win not bad at all in the finals it's a good opportunity for me to test out the side and maybe find out where do we need potential improvements so i'm excited for that there you go boys we get some extra money for selling martinez 625,000. we've already strengthened our defense with pieri coming in and also we've got another 850,000 from of course progressing to the final so that's pretty awesome let's check our funds we've got about 1.64 million definitely enough to make another signing and as i said that's going to be up to you guys honestly the barca b kits look way better than the first team's kits because of no sponsorships and all that just looks so clean and we're going to definitely go with this strip for this game our first game in this Barca B road to glory series begins now against belen and says i hope i've pronounced it properly and I'm so excited for this, it's a different challenge, we're not using the best players in the world, we're using a very young team with a lot of potential, but right now they're not as good as they can be, so it's going to be an immense challenge, this is the team that I'm going for, giving the likes of Abel Ruiz, Arnaiz, Alenia, all a go to see how they play and fit into this team, and also looking at the roles I've given to these players, Alenia is probably going to be our free kick taker, penalty taker and corner taker, because he's just that good, Palencia is going to be the captain, off this side a solid team let's win our first trophy oh look at rivera he seems like a beast man in that midfield the strength he had to push that guy off the ball was immense alenia cucurella now making the run down the wings which is nice to see plays it inside to alenia now to palacios new signing palacios goes for the finish shot and almost scores our first goal first chance of this game for us comes in the eighth minute and it's our new signing palacios who lets it fly Here's Rivera, bossing in that midfield role, plays this wide to Palencia who crosses this one in to Jose Arnaiz, clever touch from him, crosses this one in and they clear the ball away when playing some good football. Here's Jose Arnaiz now gets away from his man, cuts this one inside to Abel Ruiz who misses a golden chance. What an opportunity that was man, he should be scoring. Here we go on the attack, Abel Ruiz waits for Arnaiz, Arnaiz makes the run, here goes Arnaiz. Inside to Palacios, who's looked very good in this game. Now Abel Ruiz gets the shots off. Big save from the keeper, but on the rebound, we score. And unfortunately, it is offside. We're playing some great football. I know the goal will come. It has certainly been a really difficult half so far. I'm going to be making a few changes for the second half. I'm bringing on Lewa for Perez, because he really hasn't had the best of games. And also, I'll bring on Cardona for Abel Ruiz. Again, a very good youngster but just hasn't had the best of games. So let's hope these two changes can help us in the second half. Palacios finds Jose Arnaiz. Arnaiz lets it fly and there you go. We get our first goal in this series and guess who it comes from? It just had to be him. One of our most talented players, Jose Arnaiz, gives us the lead and that was his weak foot as well. And there you go. We lead 1-0 with Barcelona B. A new signing, Palacios, with the assist as well for this one. Look at that, good pass. And then Arnaiz, through the legs of one of the defenders, puts it into the back of the net. Let's go, guys. Cardona finds Palacios. 
Now into Arnais, he can score his second and there you go, Jose Arnais gets himself a brace in this preseason tournament final and what a goal it was again, this guy's finishing is actually unreal, what an assist again from Palacios, that pass was brilliant, left side of the net and there you go, it is 2-0 for Barca B. I'm going to bring on Puig now for the remainder of this game because Alenia seems pretty dead in terms of stamina, so only about 5 minutes left, it's still a good chance to give him some game time. Cardona, Jose Arnaiz now very low on stamina but cuts this one back to Cardona who gets the shots off and how has the keeper saved that man? Cardona should have scored, there is a bit of a striker battle in the team right now between Cardona and Abel Ruiz, I'm not sure who to use as my first team striker, today none of them proved themselves which is a bit disappointing. Gonna put this right into the box, it's a good corner, Jose Arnaiz with the header gets himself a hat-trick. How good is this guy? He's going to be so crucial for us when we start the Premier League season, man. Jose Arnaiz take a bow, a hat-trick in our first game of this series. Absolutely incredible. He's scoring everything, man. Headers. He, I think this is the perfect hat-trick. I just realized he scored with his left foot for the first goal, right foot for the second, and a header for the third. That is a perfect hat-trick. Absolutely unbelievable. There you go guys, we've won at the preseason tournament, it's been a very good game, we've played some great football and now I'm really confident for when the Premier League season begins, I think we can avoid relegation, maybe finish mid-table, we still need to make a few signings, let's hope we can get the job done in the next episode, but what a start it has been. Unfortunately, the transfer deal for Sassanidas has broken down, which means we've got to wait to sell him. But also, we've received about a million from our preseason tournament, which means now we're on 3 million and we can definitely make some big improvements to this team. I think one position now I definitely want to improve is that right wing role. I'm not really impressed with Leiva, he just doesn't seem quick enough. He's more like a midfielder, I guess I'm going to try him out in midfield more often. And even Perez isn't really that good, he's decent, he's only 19 so he's got a lot to improve but I think another right winger could certainly help so any suggestions put them down in the comment section below. Now this is what I'm excited about, let's see if we can get ourselves some talented youngsters. So far none of them looking impressive apart from Diego Castillo, we're gonna sign him and the rest we're gonna scout. That's the plan, hopefully Diego Castillo can turn out to be a great player but I want someone with like 90 plus potential because that would be just insane. Right now this guy is a goalkeeper, 57 rated. We're going to keep him in the academy and hope that he grows. Well, looks like our transfer budget has increased. We're now on 3.54 million, which is great. I think because of season ticket sales, definitely we should have enough to bring in a right winger. Our team is looking really good as it is now. Very impressed with a few players like Arnais again, who just was balling out. Alenia was brilliant, Rivera was solid, Pieri was great, Cucurella, Palencia, and of course this man, Palacios. So I'm super eager to begin our season in the Premier League. What a challenge it's going to be for us to try and avoid relegation. I think so far we've done brilliantly with Barca B. We've brought in some good talented youngsters. Youth Academy is running well. I'm really excited for the future episodes and hopefully you guys are as well. We start off against Southampton and we've got United as well. Holy shit, that's going to be a huge game. And before we end off this episode, you guys need to vote for your informed player of the episode and your nominees are... Uh, of course, Jose Arnaiz being one of them. He had such a good episode. Hat-trick in that one game that he played, so you guys can vote for him. And your second nominee is this guy, Palacios. Our new signing, he just seems like such a good player. Quick as well, he's got a good shot, good passer. And he, of course, a deserved nominee with his two assists. So you guys can vote by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen. And that is it guys for today's episode, hopefully you guys are enjoying this Barca B Road to Glory, I certainly loved recording this first episode, it's such a different challenge for me to use players that are not already established and you know using training, using the youth academy, signing budget players, I'm really enjoying it already and I can't wait for the season to begin, hopefully you guys are enjoying this as well, drop a like if you are, 500 likes would be just insane and if you are new around here make sure to subscribe and hopefully tomorrow I'll see you guys again with another episode of the Barca B Road to Glory series.